Driving down from the Capo di Monte Museum to the city, the visitor passes by the Tempio del Buon Consiglio, a recently built church completed in the 1950s, which is a perfect scale replica of St. Peter's in Rome. From the courtyard of this church, visitors can enter the catacombs of San Gennaro. The upper level of this burial complex can be reached by passing through an ancient subterranean structure. And the lower vestibule leads into the hall which contains the baptismal font and dates back to 762 AD. The image of San Gennaro with Mount Vesuvius on one side and Mount Sommer on the other is one of the most beautiful achievements of early Christian painting. Most tourists who set foot in this complex remember with a certain dread the dark narrow maze of galleries in the Roman catacombs or stereotyped visions of subterranean places supposed to be the traditional hiding places of early Christians. Here the yellowish tufa stone typical of the Neapolitan subsoil has forged impressive near architectural structures which produce a uniquely impressive atmosphere with plays of light and shade created where the light floods in through natural skylights or man-made openings and passageways. Particularly interesting details are the numerous arch-shaped tombs or arcasolia, which in these catacombs are usually richly decorated and make up a unique iconographic heritage. The most interesting of the numerous 6th century frescoes are those that portray St. Peter and St. Gennaro. The affluent dignitary Teotecnus with his wife and daughter, and especially the oldest existing portrait of St. Gennaro, dating from the 5th century in which the saint is represented between the portraits of two women. Heading from this vestibule towards the upper catacomb, we come to the Bishop's Basilica. The emotion aroused by the mosaics that adorn the Arcasolia becomes strongest in front of the tomb of John I, 15th Bishop of Naples, who moved the mortal spoils of St. Gennaro to these subterranean premises and thus officially authorised the cult of this saint in the city. The Basilica Maior was built at the close of the 5th century. As more and more pilgrims visited the tombs of the Christian martyrs buried there, it became necessary to replace the smaller basilica with a larger one divided into a nave and two aisles. The main entrance to the complex is from the Edicola della Croce, an idicula containing a fresco depicting a swastika. Here visitors can establish a virtual relationship with people who lived in the city of Naples in bygone ages and who are linked to the present by the spiritual thread of devotion to early Christian martyrs.